If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I've talked about some of the big features within Music Player Remix. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the little touches that I've added to the app. Because really, at the end of the day, it's the little touches that really matter. So, let's get started. First of all, on any screen, you can swipe from left to right at the bottom of the gesture area to get back to the now playing screen. You also have the button at the top of every screen as well, but you can use the gesture area if you'd like. Um, also, on any screen, you can swipe from right to left at the top to get back to the home screen. And, on any screen, you can tap anywhere up here to pause and play your music. And of course you have your music controls as well down here. Um, let's see, let's go back to the now playing screen. And before I go on, incidentally, some of the features I'm going to talk about, such as the swiping from left to right to get back here, um, are only in the private beta, because I've been adding a lot of enhancements and features into the private beta, getting it ready for the app catalog release, and sometimes I don't have time to put it back into the public beta, um, or in, in, in the case of some of the features I'm going to talk about tonight, um, I've actually implemented it um, rather recently, uh, like th this feature right here that I was talking about, this was implemented just uh, an hour ago, so obviously it's not in the uh, public beta. But anyways, let me continue. Um, one of the coolest new features that I've added um, is another form of auto bookmarks. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that when you close the app and swipe it off the screen, uh, it saves an auto bookmark um, of your current track um, at this position um, within um, this playlist. And you can then resume um, with the resume play button up here. Um, but I've taken it a step further. So when you're listening to um, particularly a, a long track such as uh, an audiobook or a podcast or something like that, and you're in the middle right here, somewhere in the middle, like three hours in, and you accidentally hit next, and you go to the next track, um, Normally, in any other music player, you'd be in trouble because you'd be like, oh man, I just lost my position. I could go back, but I'm not going to remember where I was exactly, and it's going to take me a little bit of time to, to do that, and it's going to be kind of a pain. But in Music Player Remix, you just go back, and at the bottom, there's going to be an auto bookmark, a yellow marker, and you just hit next, and it's going to go right there. And now I can resume where I left off. Um, also, it works um, previous, so if I hit previous and go back to the beginning of the track, it's going to remember where I was, and it's going to let me resume where I, where I left off. So, it's little touches like this that are really going to help you um, in the times when you do something silly like hit next by accident. Um, or if you're like me, and when I switch, tr uh, switch apps, sometimes I'll just blow away the music app without even thinking, even though I was still listening to music. And of course I could go in and resume play. And resume where I left off. So, it's things like that um, that you're not going to be using every day, but when you do have to use it, you're going to appreciate that it's there. Um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, actually, let me mention one other thing with the new auto bookmark. Um, not only does it help you with audiobooks and long files, it'll also help you with songs. So let's say I'm listening to this song right here, and I'm in the middle of the song, but then for some reason I'm listening to the song and it reminds me of another song, and I want to quickly pull up that song. I could use the in-app universal search and just start typing. And I'm gonna, I know it's a Luther song, so I'll just type Luther and Luther Vandross. I'll pull up his album and there's the song I'm thinking of. So I'll just hit plus and I'll say play after current song. So let me go back to the now playing. And now what I could do is, so I'm in the middle of this song, I could go and listen to this song. You know, so I want to listen to the song maybe a little bit. Okay, I've listened to the song. Now when I hit previous, it's gonna um, it's going to resume where I last left off. So now I can continue with this song and you know not have to worry about having to start it from the beginning. Um, so that's another nice use of this feature. Let's see, you also have... Um, oh, speaking of another uh, auto bookmark thing, I might have mentioned this before. Um, for every playlist and fly list on your device... Um, let me see. Here we go. 
So let's see, we have this playlist right here. For every playlist and fly list on the device, um, Music Player Remix is, is going to remember automatically where you left off in each single list. So you don't have to do that. So if I hit the little bookmark icon down here, it's going to resume where I last left off within this list. So this is where I last left off uh, the last time I played this list. So it's, it's a nice way of, um, you know, resuming in a particular list when you go to listen to something else. So if I go to shuffle all and do that, and then the next day I want to go back to this, uh, to this fly list and, um, you know, pull up the fly list. Uh, um, this one doesn't have anything, but let's pretend it did. I can hit the little bookmark icon and just uh, resume where I left, last left off. And that could be useful for audiobooks as well. Um, you can put a long file like an audiobook within a fly list, and it's going to remember where you were within that book automatically. And then you can go listen to music and then come back to your book when you, when you want to do that as well. Um, let's see, what else? Let me go back to the now playing screen. And let's talk about playlist management. So, oh, this only has five tracks. Let's do one a little more interesting. Let's do this one. We'll do the faves list. All right, so the faves list has uh, 12 tracks. So, as you know, you can start swiping. And while you're listening to the current song, um, you can browse your current playlist and see um, what's coming up. And you can also... Uh, let's see. So let's see. So let's say I'm browsing and I come across this song and I want to play this song after the current song without interrupting the playback of the current song. I can just swipe up and it's cued to play next. So now when I hit next, it's going to play next. So that's a nice way for me to, you know, leisurely browse my playlist as I'm listening to it and then just move songs up. And then when it when the net, the current song um, stops or or ends, um, this one will play next. Now I've taken this a step further. Um, so let's say I'm browsing, and let's say this song has come up. I like the way you move. A few years ago, this was played a million times on the radio, and you know while I like the song, I may have heard it so many times that I, I just don't want to listen to it again. And it's in my playlist. Um, I want to move it away. So what I'm going to do is swipe down and it's going to move it to the end of the playlist. So now that song is going to be at the end. And so if I'm within like, let's say a shuffle all list, you know, that has 1500 songs in it, I'm not going to get bothered by that song if I happen to come across it while I'm shuffling music. So it's a nice way to get rid of music that you don't want to listen to. And then swiping up is a way to bring music um, to you that you do want to listen to next. Um, let's see, what else? Um, one thing I have mentioned uh, in previous videos is that you can tap here to bring up the current song's album. And what's nice about doing this is, let's say I'm listening to a song and I want to listen to the rest of the album. I could hit the plus icon for this album Secrets and play it after the current song. And now, oop, there you go. Um, that album is, is, uh, has been um, added to the current playlist without interrupting the actual playlists, the playlist that was there. So if you'll notice, um, Tony Braxton's Secrets is there. Oops. And, but the rest of the playlist is also there as well. Um, now one thing you may not know is that if you tap and hold this area, you'll actually get brought to the album list of that current artist. So I can add a whole other album um, to the current playlist and do it right from here, or I could even add the artist. So I could add every single song from that artist to the current playlist and do that as well um, without interrupting, without getting rid of the songs that are already in the current playlist. So it's a nice way to manage what you're listening to um, if something reminds you of something else and you want to add it. And you can do that from Universal Search as well. I can just start typing, let's say, John. Let's see what comes up with John. Um, some songs, some albums, some artists. Um, so if I wanted to add Elton John to the current um, playlist, then Elton, Elton John is added. And there you go. So let's see, what else? Um, another thing is, from here, if you tap and hold the album art, you're going to get some alternate controls down here, um, which are really useful, especially for um, longer files like audiobooks and so forth. 
you could just skip um, by preset amounts. So 30 seconds, a minute, five seconds, you could go back. So if you're listening to something and you want to hear that part again, you could just quickly go back, you know, a certain amount and do that. And you could also do that with the keyboard as well. So you have these keys and these keys. So if I do this one, it'll be a minute forward. If I do this one, a minute back. Um, so that's another nice touch that um, is available on the now playing screen. Um, let me talk about some customization options on the preferences screen. There are a ton of customization options on here and more and more are being added every day. And most of them are actually coming from feedback from you guys, from the users. Um, for instance, I just recently added a few on here. Um, the sleep timer, um, someone asked me, look, right now the sleep timer, let me go back to the home screen. Um, there's a sleep timer right here, so you can specify the amount of time. Um, so right now, 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes, this app is gonna, um, the music's gonna stop playing and the app is gonna close. So it's nice to listen to music before you go to bed. Um, but what, someone asked me, can you set it up so that it won't close the app, it'll just stop the music? Um, well, now you can. I've added it to the preferences screen because of that feedback from that user. So I can say close app, or I can say stop music. Another thing that's been a really popular request is the faves list. So let me go to the faves list real quick. Um, right now, the faves list is treated like a big fly list, basically. So any item I choose, it's going to load that item, but it's going to load all the other items as well um, in the order that they appear in the faves list. Um, but some people have requested that we treat each item in the faves list as individual items. So they may have they may have stored a playlist or a fly list within the faves list, and they just want to load that that list. You can do that now by selecting this option. Um, so it's treated as every single tap is treated as a single entity. So now when I come back here, when I um, choose Earth Song, which is a song by Michael Jackson, it'll only load that one uh, item. Or if I choose Outcast, which is an artist. It's going to load just Outcast, so the five Outcast songs that I have on this uh, device. So that's been a popular quest. Um, so many of the f uh, features on the preferences screen actually come from you guys. So please keep the suggestions coming. Um, you can offer suggestions um, in many different ways, actually. Um, so if I go to the help screen, you can access my Twitter account here. So send me a Twitter um, message. Um, you could also go to my discussion forum on PreCentral. Um, or you can send me emails. Uh, a feedback suggestion email link is right here. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, which is kind of a fun thing. It's really not functional, but it's kind of a fun thing. And it's Easter eggs. So this app has currently four Easter eggs that you guys can try to find. Um, so here's hints right here on the, on the hidden features section. And I'm going to reveal one of them right now. Um, so, Easter egg number four says, sometimes when pondering over the words of your favorite song, you should look at things from a different perspective. So, what it's talking about is your lyrics screed. So, when I go to lyrics, let's see if this song has lyrics. No. Nope. Hopefully this one does. Oh, my Lord. Tell me this one does. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so, here are the lyrics screen. Um, so, when, so the hint was that look at it from a different perspective. So if I turn it upside down, oh, I have orientation locked. Oh, so this is another thing actually. We have two options right here. Um, you have an orientation lock where I could lock the orientation and now it's not locked. Okay, so anyways, let me go back to the lyric screen. Okay. And if I look at it from a different perspective, which is upside down, you get your Easter egg, which fell off the screen. So there's all these little Easter eggs hidden within the app, and you can try to find them, and it's kind of a fun thing to do. Um, so anyways, this is the end of the video. It's gone longer than I thought it was going to go, but there was really a lot to talk about, all these uh, nice little touches within the app, and I really wanted to talk about those um, because really I've been focusing on the big, big features, but it's the little touches that really improve um, your use of the app and the experience that you, that you have with the app. But that was the main goal of the app is to have a great music listening experience. So thank you for watching this video and look out for more coming soon.